During the five minutes interval in this match between England and the Netherlands, the England team planned their tactics for the second half. Corners, which should be an advantage to the attacking team, alas, are often wasted. More goals could be scored in the game of hockey if corners were practiced hard and sensibly. The wing must hit the ball fast and flat and send it accurately to a forward. She stops it and with a short back lift takes a quick shot at goal. The forwards must have just one idea and that is to score. More than one player may be involved in the shot, as here where the centre half makes a hand stop for the centre forward to shoot. The other forwards must be prepared to help in following up, if necessary to anticipate and pop in a rebound from the goalkeeper. The defence players must be behind the back line while their forwards wait beyond the 25 yards line. Each defence should be as near as possible opposite the forward she is to mark. All the defence should get out as quickly as possible to prevent the forward shooting at all. Watch these defence players come out quickly while the goalkeeper tries to cover the angle of the shot. Here the left wing has beaten the defence and so the goalkeeper has to come out. Notice this time that the left half comes across and saves the situation on the goal line. This was the position when the left wing had the ball. The defence was still marking. The left half had crossed to mark the right inner who had been freed by the covering left back. But the left wing avoided the back, so the goalkeeper came out, and the left half, as the last line of defence, covered the goal. The other defence was still marking. Notice that the centre half stayed with the centre forward all the time. This right wing has drawn the defence across, and can use her own centre half on the edge of the circle. In this diagram she has just received the ball but the defence is not yet worried. As no forward is free the right wing has run on with the ball. Either of the backs could tackle her before she can shoot. It is up to the attacking forwards to get into a more useful position to help this right wing. Here, a through pass has found the centre forward free. She has only the covering back and goalkeeper to beat before she can score a goal. This back waits near the edge of the circle to give the forwards less room and the other defence a chance to get back. Timing is very important indeed. An attack can begin with the goalkeeper's flat kick to a half or back. Then the wing comes back to help and the inner sees the opportunity and cuts across to the wing.
Notice how the opposing defence players are put off balance or on the wrong foot. By moving back, the wing has outwitted her opposing's half, leaving the long space up the side. These players cut in or across when they see an opportunity to confuse their opponents. Defence to inner, diagonal to the wing, and straight to the inner again. If the forwards near the circle spread out, they will space the defence and so give themselves more room in which to move. This centre half swings the ball out to the wing. As the centre forward is marked, the left inner cuts across but it's an uncontrolled shot. She tries again. Watch the interchange of left inner and centre forward. The right wing has no room in which to move here, so a quick pass back to her half, and then she passes on to the left inner. In these interchanges, the defence are on the wrong foot each time. This should be a goal, but what a scramble and lost opportunity. Can you spot the reverse stick pass? There it is. This is the grip for the reverse pass. The stick is turned by the fingers. The head is over the ball and the player can hit or sweep the ball. See how Brenda concentrates and turns her stick quickly. Here the reverse stick is used in different situations. Everyone has to think quickly. The ball could go either way because it is well controlled. The defence players would rarely get the ball at all unless they intercepted and acted quickly. The right wing looks free, but the left half is quick to intercept. Look at it again. Notice the centre half on the other side is quicker than the centre forward. Both sides are trying to be quicker than their opponents and to do this they must anticipate and concentrate on both the ball and the position of the players. Who will be the quicker here, the English or the Dutch? When chasing an opponent, a lunge tackle is useful. But not a wild one like this, which is very dangerous. The player must keep herself and stick well away from her opponent 
and trap the ball so that it stays with her. This time she taps the ball away and follows it quickly, keeping it in play. A forward two uses a lunge to draw the ball from the defence. When tackling from the left, the forwards must keep well clear. A player must keep clear too when using her stick reversed in order to trap the ball or pull it away. Again, she must keep clear when making a jab tackle with the stick in the left hand. The ball has gone over the sideline, so it must be rolled back into play within one yard of where it left the pitch. Feet and stick and everything must be behind the line. Several people must be ready, even the back who could receive a reverse roll. The players waiting should be on the move or they will easily be marked. There should be at least five people ready to help with the roll. A long roll to the left wing, a short roll to the left inner, a short roll to the left inner and back to the left half, a reverse roll to the left back, a long roll down the side for the centre forward, a long roll across for the centre half or the centre forward. The half must be careful not to be too clever and fox her own side as well as the others. The defence must do their best to mark closely and make it more difficult for the half to set up an attack. This is why the attacking team must be quick to move. See how these rolls set up attacks. A free hit can be a real advantage if taken quickly. When a defence like this right back is taking the free hit, everyone in her team must create possibilities. But if everyone in the other team is quick, it can make it very difficult for the player taking the hit. In attack, again everyone must help. Here the centre half has the ball and the wings are often free in this situation. But of course, the defending team can make life very difficult. These free hits in different game situations are not always successful, but they are good efforts. Watch quickly for this penalty bully. The back saved a certain goal, but she must have kicked it. Only two players are concerned, 
All the others, and in this case it includes the goalkeeper, wait beyond the 25 yards line and take no further part in the game until either the ball goes out of play or a goal is scored. Do you know how to take a penalty bully? Another international match is over. The game has been watched by a crowd of about 60,000 people, mainly school and club players. Some of them will one day play for England. Maybe it'll be you too.